What's going on YouTube? Flashy here and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Recently, Storm Trance got a buff and if you pair that with the new artifact mods for Season of the Deep, Arc Warlock has definitely become a force to be reckoned with once again. I've been having so much fun with this build, especially in the new dungeon. There's just so much ad clear, and you can even see it in the clips playing in the background. Everything just gets disintegrated. And thanks to some exotics and some mods, you just spam abilities and always have your super up in this build. But before we get into it, be sure to leave a like on the video. It helps out the channel a ton. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future Destiny 2 videos here. And now to get into the build, starting with the subclass. For the super, we're going full on Sith Lord. Of course, we gotta go with Storm Trance. And for our abilities, we'll be grabbing Healing Rift for the survivability burst glide for our jump chain lightning for our melee which while amplified is actually going to create an additional set of chains and for those that don't know amplified is a movement speed and weapon handling increase and after sprinting for a short time you get another speed boost and finally our grenade is going to be the flashbang grenade moving over to the aspects we have to go with arc soul one of my personal favorite aspects in the game and trust me when your fire team has one of these they'll always be saying thank you as well cast your rift to create an arc soul that fires at targets in front of you allies can pass through the rift and get one then while amplified Amplified, the Arc Soul is supercharged and has an increased fire rate. Literally, it's just a turret attached to you and your teammates. It's so good. And the second aspect is going to be Electrostatic Mind. Defeating targets with Arc abilities or defeating Jolted or Blinded targets creates an Ionic Trace, and an Ionic Trace makes you Amplified and gives you ability energy. And now for our fragments, we're going to start with Spark of Shock, your Arc Grenade's Jolt targets, and we're pairing this with the Flashbangs. So now our Flash will actually kill enemies, and whatever it doesn't take care of is both Jolted and Blinded. Absolutely love the combo here between Flashbang and Spark of Shock. Spark of Focus, after sprinting for a short time, your class ability regeneration is increased. Again, we want that rift up. We want that arc soul as much as possible. Spark of Brilliance, defeating a blinded target with precision damage creates a blinding explosion. Honestly, this one's pretty interchangeable, but it still works. And finally, Spark of Resistance, while surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage. So now that our subclass is all set, it's important to look at those seasonal mods I was speaking about earlier in the video because they are going to take our build from a 10 up to an 11. First up, we have authorized mods Arc and Melee. We're pretty much always going to take these. They're going to change the armor cost of mods, affecting both arc and melee from three down to one so really convenient when we're looking at the mods later on electric armor stay amplified longer while your arc subclass is equipped thunderous retort grants bonus arc super damage if cast while critically wounded or while amplified last until the end of super activation we're pretty much always going to be amplified in this build so basically anytime you pop your super you're going to be getting that bonus damage in the next column we have amped up gain damage resistance while amplified shock and awe arc final blows while you're amplified summon a burst of lightning that damages and jolts targets and lightning strike twice after throwing an arc grenade gain increased grenade recharge for a short time arc final blows extend the duration of this benefit so we just get a ton of buffs here for being amplified and for using arc again just taking our build up to an 11 because the season's arc mods are so much fun and now moving over to the weapons our exotic is going to be the centrifuge it has the intrinsic trait overcharge capacitor sprinting sliding and firing this weapon builds a temporary electrostatic charge increasing range and reload speed final blows with a high charge cause explosions and max charge explosions will also blind targets. Again, playing into that blind off our flashbang and now even our auto rifle. Now it's not the best weapon for boss damage, but for ad clearing, this thing gets the job done and it is really so satisfying to use. It's also the new weapon from the current pass. So I wanted to showcase it in at least one of the builds this season. And I feel like overall, it just pairs pretty nicely with the Warlock general game plan. And also as a tip, you don't want to reload this weapon because when you do, you're going to lose your overcharge capacitor. Sprinting is going to reload it without resetting the bar. And also don't forget forget that sprinting is going to give us ability regeneration from spark of focus so nice bit of synergy there between these two and now for the heavy slot i've been liking the rocket launcher hothead it's arc but it also drops with demolitionist it goes so well with this build because of how fast we get our flashbang back it's just great for when you need that big burst of damage on a boss or a champion or something and now this is why i like the build a lot when looking at the stats you really don't need anything except that 100 resilience which i would always recommend on any build anytime but if you still don't have the best armor stats for your warlock you really don't have to worry about it and that's because of our exotic armor piece crown of tempest with the armor per conduction tines arc ability or jolt final blows increase the recharge rate of your arc abilities and extend the duration of storm trance now this buff is going to stack up to three times and at max stacks you're getting over 500 percent additional base grenade melee and super regeneration rate and while in storm trance with max stacks we get up to a 66 percent slower super drain honestly just such a good exotic and when you see how fast you're getting some of your abilities back it's just crazy and how long you're lasting in storm trance 
is so much fun. And now for the mods, starting with the exotic helmet, we'll take an arc siphon, rapid arc weapon final blows, create an orb of power. One copy of dynamo is going to reduce super cooldown when using your class ability near targets. And hands-on is going to gain bonus super energy on melee kills. For the gauntlets, we'll take one copy of arc loader, increasing the reload speed of our arc weapons. One copy of grenade kickstart. When you throw your grenade, you immediately get a little bit of grenade energy back. And impact induction, causing damage with a melee attack, reduces your grenade cooldown. On the chest piece, very simple. I just run one copy of arc reserves which is going to increase the amount of ammo you carry for arc weapons and we're also going to be grabbing a resistance right now i have arc on because if you're running the new dungeon ghost of the deep definitely have an arc resistance on trust me you'll thank me later moving on to the leg mods we have one copy of arc holster which will gradually reload your stowed arc weapons over time and then the dynamic duo i'm going to say it in every video and i'm going to keep saying it recuperation and better already got to pair these two and always got to run them on the legs these are both going to replenish and regenerate our health as soon as we pick up an orb of power every time we pick up an orb of power so good to stay alive again if you don't have devour or cure or anything like that always be running recuperation and better already and finally for our bond we have one copy of distribution reduces all ability cooldowns when using your class ability near targets and double copy of bomber reduces grenade cooldown when using your class ability you put all these things together and you'll be able to spam unlimited abilities over and over completely disintegrate rooms full of enemies with storm trance and feel like an absolute sith lord honestly all the things i want from an arc subclass in destiny 2 there's a reason it's my favorite all right but i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know down in the comments if you decide to try this out and tell me what you think if you're interested in the appearance customization i use for this build that's on screen now if you want to screenshot it and i'll also leave the dim link down in the description as a reminder be sure to check out my tiktok page which will also be linked in the description thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one